No, like, Eric Eric Gagdon had to get up out of his seat with the bar for him. He, he had to he had to vacate, so we're good on that front. All right. Well, it's it's maybe the the Dan issue then. <laughs> <laughs> we're live here though with the first pistol round of the series. Whoa, get him, Kusa. Whoa, whoa. Get him, Kusa. Do it. Bring the little knives out. He's got the butt plugs too. He's ready. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what those are called? Wait, I thought that's what, I thought this was common information. <laughs> God bless it. Is now. It's out in the it's out in the public world at this point. Good trading. <laughs> Oh, Bomb's getting planted, but Automatic doesn't go for it, and he misses the shots on a Nitro. That's huge. One on one, and Som falls last. Pistol round for Team Liquid. Dang, what a recovery from Liquid there. Good bait. This should tee up Kusta for something to happen. Three members of Liquid about to come into this potential blender, and there it is. There's one, two. Oh, and he doesn't follow up with the third. Automatic almost tagging up as well. This round, uh, Liquid, that could have they're been in control. Yeah, that could have been dangerous for Liquid. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a costly take of ramp room. Kusta getting two, but nobody else on Gen.G able to accomplish anything. Two to nothing. Nicely done from Team Liquid. Gen D decides to fight for underneath heaven instead of taking lobby control, and I think that was their mistake that round. And it's another round for Liquid there. It's another round, another round for Automatic to open up by taking uh, down Stewie. The same person as well, yeah. Oh, sliding in, and Ben Tet's holding Naf in check. Five on three now for Gen G's defense, and with this kind of an advantage, you'd hope this round remains clean. Good angle for him. Gonna repeat. That Molotov just bought him enough time. Huge round for Automatic coming into this round. Ooh, that second player might catch him off guard. Already close up to him, but he adjusts. Oh. What a beautiful round. Is that an... That's four. Four. And this looks like an upper set piece. This is going to be a timing hit. They're coming in right now. Very quick. And there's Bentet made in hand. He wants to put on a Molotov that never came. And Liquid piling it on. The mind th games. Yeah, a three on two now for Team Liquid. Molotov goes into heaven. And that should buy them the time to get a safe plant. Although it falls all the way down the ladder. So, joke's on Liquid. Right now, I think Naf's just spotted. Naf, he's taking on this duel. Man, Naf, just handling it so well. 1v2. And I think there was a missed nade to blow the door. <laughs> oh, that's a good tag onto Stewie. Would have been better if he got a kill to equalize some things here. Stewie, it looks like he's just going to entry out onto this pop, top, pop, top bomb site with that low HP. This is a good response from Daps. Just taking over that lobby control and even coming out to trade Bentet. Such good reactions from Daps coming into this round. Really just sealing the deal in that upper yeah. defense. He's actually got backup from Automatic at that door side as well. Yeah, Nitro's got the bomb. He needs to be careful. Oh. Flicks over. Now they know. They know the bomb is there. Automatic, a missed shot from range. And Liquid are committed to this lower bomb site. They have to get out of here. Lee, the drop down, and he's got the kill. It costs him so much health, and Automatic holds on a control window. Oh. What a quick flick. And Ben Ted coming out the other side of the doors. It's just down to twist. Again, a really well-managed round with, from Gen.G with their rotations. That backup, man. That backup for some, it was always there. Oh, oh okay. sweet Jesus. You know, Twist always makes these rounds interesting. He loves these 1v4, 1v3 scenarios. He's only got 20 seconds to work with, but he's got a smoke. He could actually get this bomb down. Oh, that timing. That fast trade might not be there. Yeah, and Bent had just come down the vents. It's it's clear. No one's been watching this. Naf is going to come in late. Twist. Uh -oh. oh, the spin. That's awkward. Missed shots from Saw, but Ben Ted is here. 20 seconds on the clock. They need this kill. That's the bomb on the ground. Oh, he's got another one. He got re-aggressive, and the flank is too far away. The round is done. 10 seconds on the clock. I don't think Naf can do this. Absolutely not anymore. Needs to find the kill. Bomb is too far away, and what a save from Ben Ted. Quad kill in the round. Kusa trying to ruin those smokes from Liquid once again outside. Oh, he's, oh man, he's, got, he's caught off guard. This is Liquid going so fast through this connector split. None of the Genji players were ready for that. It's a really good round to make as well, because you focused, even the last round, you came down lower so easily. So even for Genji, you might see the call, oh, watch out for a smoke wall for lower. Gen G has been pretty dominant the last few rounds, so it's only really automatic that's pretty low on money and some, but they're the two that's gonna be saving these weapons. But we like close games. 
Oh, that's a quick peek at Mini. Kusum not ready for it. Automatic finally grabs thrown from behind. He's got the ability to get more daps holding on, but nade in hand. He's going to fall for sure. However, just enough is done by Automatic. A couple more kills. He's got three in the round so far. Transitions to an AK-47, and Nitro's in a one versus two. Spots one player towards Mini. Nade is going to come out, and he's going to peek with it, although gets spammed a little bit, a little bit more damage. And now he should know, both players. I think he just spotted the second one, but that's a nice pre-fire shot from Som as he peeks into the angle. I've heard, <laughs> you know, whenever I tune in, I hear him. There's at least two matches of a run boost. <laughs> Every game. Ventet finding the timing, just sneaking past that smoke and catching Liquid so unaware. That flashbang also helping out, but Elise, she's got an answer. But Kusta finds himself a connector. The timing here might throw off Liquid, but they should have an idea. Automatic surely going to try to trade out Kusta's contact here. Ooh, that's a big pick. That's a big time kill. Yeah, now Automatic, he's kind of stuck. He sees the gun barrel. <gasps> oh, oh, oh my god. Nitro. I think, I think he spots the, the, the pistol barrel there as well. And thankfully, Sam does not have a Molotov or a nade. Elise still just gets to wait, but a bit more nervous now that the smoke goes down. Isolate. Oh. <laughs> He's not nervous. No, why would you even say Jesus. that, Jesus? 45 seconds on the clock, and I mean, at any point, this can turn into a split at the upper bomb site. This outside control is complete for Team Liquid. And that's Nitro helping to catch off players. Daps again trying to push into lobby, trying to find some safety. Ben Tet's moved into position in dark spot. And this is all they really have, and it's disappearing quick. Here we go. Play is made by Bentet. Took a little bit long to get that kill, but he transitions nicely onto Nitro. And now, again, making himself a small target for only so long. One on two for Som. No kit either. Yeah, this is going to be tough. There's the swing from Naf. And they find it. Team Liquid take it eight to seven. And the Liquid gets a last few rounds there to make it 8-7. Oh, okay. And it's a fast ramp take here from Gen G with a ramp set up as well from Liquid. So this is a pretty good start so far from Gen G, getting the trades. Where? Oh, Naf is already down here. Opens the door. Did not want that second fight. He was well overexposed. Now they know where Twist is coming from. An easy kill. Classic ramp rush to start a T-side. They have a lot of nades here as well for the lower. Dewey's got a side. Zeus in the door. Here we go. Oh, that would have been nice. That was pretty close, too. Yeah, I think he was in range. He was just, he just missed. Ben Ted's going to pad his stats. Another triple kill round for him. And Gen G's going to go up by two. Oh, dear. Costly victory. One more. Ben Ted. How many kills was that? And that nade does phenomenal damage. Som brought down to 66, Bentet at 73 outside. And they're gonna press the issue it's regardless. Really fast. Oh, perfect off angle from Napoli misses the first kill. Oh. That's painful. That's a huge pickup for Kusta. Nitro, he has a response, and right now, Genji, they need to trade this out. Nitro, he gets a double there as well. That was good distractions from Stewie and man, this timing for Nitro. He should have had somewhat of an idea, but he was worried about that upper. Bentet finds the timing and twists. Ooh, he's sneaking out. Oh he wants Lord. to find these kills. I can't believe, oh no, the red box timing is going to be brutal. <gasps> yeah, Daps, Daps has it. Oh, oh no, does maybe. Does he? Yeah, he does. Bentet <laughs> does. That's, uh, that's crazy. Stewie now left it a one versus three and he can't go anywhere. He's trapped. What a round from Gen.G. Under heaven, you have to push into lobby and then you can kind of retake exactly like this. This is textbook play from Liquid. Even the rotates coming here as well. This oh. is a really dangerous position if you're Gen.G. Well, now it helps. And one more kill. Elise is going to come up the ladder. He did make a footstep, but no one heard it. Som turns at the end. Stewie's waiting to get involved with the AK. They crunch towards Squeak Door. And now it's one in heaven, one in the sight, and Nitro's got an op as well. Daps has been an absolute champion, but that's too much to ask. Once again, these cross smokes, Som. He's all alone out here, but those flashbangs. Ooh, that's a nice pickup of a leash. He tries to make a pick off. Bent it. He's already out upper. Oh, no one else to follow it up, though. That was okay. Towards ramp room we go, and there's no defense here. Everyone rotated away. No one's downstairs either. Stewie has to commit, and now Naps moved over. Good shot with the off, but doesn't want to follow that. 
You've got Som watching for the vent drop. Two players on Liquid are so low they can't even risk it. Oh, I think Som is going to take everything from them. Good for him. Yeah. Being out, out in, in position, overextended yeah. in ways. And that's when we saw he got... Oh, they're actually out. This is so flash. He gets help from Nitro, though. Oh my god, this is so chaotic. I think Gen G just missed a lot of people as well. They were playing through the smokes. And because of that, Liquid Rotations come in. And four on two now. And now they lost the bomb site. Kus has weaseled his way into mini here, though. <laughs> oh! That little small movement of his crosshair. Daps thought he cleared it. And now Kusta, I mean, Link would have no idea he's here, but Kusta also has no Ooh. idea where to go. Oh, no. Yeah, you did. Yeah, who almost jinxed it now? <laughs> well, now a four on five, and Gen G gonna come back to the upper bomb site. Twist is gonna have a lot to do. Oh, double, triple kill. Good transfer. And that doesn't even allow Automatic to get involved. What an off angle for Twist. And Gen G never saw it coming. They immediately get a bunch of money back. And we mentioned they're doing so good with their money on the CT side. So that's at least one factor of the game or one phase of the game they're having success in. And now starting to pick things up. Elige with a double kill. And Stewie's going to back off to a safer position at Ramp Room. Although they are coming in his direction. Nap is here. That shot is dead on. And that shot was no issue. Stewie does... Oh, oh. my dear... Bentet is... He's not slowing down. And he's having one of his games. 27 kills. This actually might catch Salm off guard. Yeah. Oh. I mean, just the fact that Liquid have been in this position like four rounds in a row. Like Salm, in his mind, he's like, no way. No way. Not four times in a row. Nap, he does get mollied off of the position here, but Twist, he's already found himself another headshot. There's three players down here. This is going to be rough. They're not getting in. Even if that was smoked off, maybe Jason. they are. I know, but what can you say? Flashbang out. Stewie still doing some more. He's gone down. A couple players alive, but they haven't been able to take the bomb site just yet. Good win for Elise as he rotates over, and Nitro adds in. And like I said, no problems, no issues, no access. Kusta finds one, tags up Elish. That's a good H grenade onto him, but he's now seen two separate players, Kusta. But Liquid, they're Make doing a three. good job. Look at all of them. Oh, this We're is not fast. paying you $3,000 a day for this. Elish <laughs> with two kills. That's a good stop of the outside push. That makes this so much easier to manage. Only one player is actually able to be aggressive towards Nitro's spot. Naf needs to be careful on top of the mini roof. Ooh, and now he knows. That's a tough duel. This is a tough fight for the AWP. Sliver of a head shown for Naf. These are the these are the shots he likes, though. He tends to put himself in those shots. Oh, but he gets tagged up. Stewie there to back him up and help. Oh my lord, what a read. What a read! Oh, it almost like he fell asleep at the reel, a wheel, and he noticed it right at the end. Oh my oh, lord, a Stewie. great round from Stewie. He's got everything. Everything goes perfect for him. Did his teammate tell him? Gotta I think they're going to go time. through mini, but I think I'm a fan of it just because no one's actually watching this. Now yeah. they know Nitro's at the vent as well, so they have some information. It's still going to be difficult. 35 seconds on the clock in a liege. He's gonna get, oh my god, he taps away. They're trying to go all the way to heaven. That 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 part's ambitious. That yeah. part's very ambitious. And the, their ambition might cost them the map. 15, 13, 22 seconds, and they pretty much have to come through mini now. The bomb is picked up, and I don't even think they realize how little time is on the clock, and now it's sunk in. Now they just realize it's all over. 10 seconds, and there's no access whatsoever. Falls flat right at the end. A 16-13 victory for Liquid. Man, Gen G, that round. He's just playing it passively. Stewie wants no part of that fight either. So they're just going to wait for this pop flash into the site to retake this. For Gen G, now you have. Oh, I no. love this approach. You have to play this aggressively. Oh my you God. have no more nades on the hands of, of Gen G. So you have to take map control. You have to trade. Because this is where the rotates come in from Liquid. They also don't have any nades, but. Retakes like this, unless you trade, unless you play aggressive, tends to go in the way of the CTs. 
They came in at a timing that, that Genji simply was not ready for. There's a kit on Nitro as well. That's Stewie to go down. Nitro, I don't know if he can commit to that fight. Oh, Genji turns this. A two on four. There's Naf with the kill, but Nitro has to get on the bomb. And now it's all about protection. No HP on Nitro. Naf must win this fight, and he will. Nitro makes himself as small as possible, and that round goes back and forth. Maybe that's just the way they practice oh, it. Oh, this timing. Oh, that sucks for automatic. And Naf can just escape if he wants to, whichever way he chooses. And now he's going to have to wrap around through market. This might give Genji some kind of a window to attack and peek into the B bomb site. Here they come. Split up catwalk. Naf arriving just in time. Molotov out in towards the B halls. And that's well handled. I don't think Nitro realizes one player got passed, which could be dangerous, but shouldn't cause them to lose the round. Oh, Kusa so low. Naf, what a round. Feel a little bit safer. This is a good start from Elish, and we see there as well, Twist is helping him out. I always refer to this as like a little bit of a face strat. Face like to do this a lot. Well, they kind of regain this, yeah. They get bombed too at the same time. Do you stay here now that you have the bomb? Absolutely, because look, this is the play I was talking about. They have connector, and this is the play from Liquid. Even if this happened a minute later, like they would have still done the A ramp control. Yes. This is though, this is bad timing here for Twist. But still, the rotations are coming in. You don't have to fight for bomb necessarily. This is such a good setup for oh, Liquid oh, side. Oh. Again, I mentioned it. I used to fa I I mentioned it's a face setup. I know a lot of people do it. With Nitro then being towards the catwalk, so it would be a potential retake there. And this is a good timing from that. Oh my god, he even gets a second one. Ooh, almost was able to follow it up, and there's Nitro holding on to Catwalk. He knows there's one at all, spots it out, needs to turn, but can't find that kill quick enough. Bomb is down, and Twist is gonna Oh no, it's oh. a missed shot! This time it's Stewie's op though. At least we know it's not it's not it's not NAF. It's consistent with all of Team Liquid. Benefits Gen G though, because time is running down. Oh, they're coming in. Twist leading the way with the F4 spots one. Good control. No HP and just a USB. Daps is, a Daps is gonna win it. And Again. he continues his Dang. strong performance for Gen G. Heading in towards connector. I oh, think that, that was missed. just off the mark. Alish knows it. Spots one there and loses the fight. Bentet's gonna grab that. This is actually a really bad position now if you're liquid, because as, as I mentioned, the whole thing with the solo player underneath Palace, you tend to be getting a lot of focus. It's really important for Stewie here to get actually one kill and get away. He just gets the one, though. We have a quick rotate here, though, from Nitro, but he's going to be too late. This is exactly what I mean. The whole setup with you choke out the bomb site, and Gen G does this perfectly this round, even with the mad dis man disadvantage. Just the fact that Liquid has no map control. They just stick stuck on the bomb site, and they're forced to fight for that. And then the sandwich comes in from Gen G. Still very much cool, though. And Twist is looking for it. He's only got a few more seconds with that smoke. Oh, he barely just spots some, but that's a huge kill. Clearing out that A bomb site. Nap, he's in CT spawn and ready, but so many targets for him getting mollied out. Thankfully, he's got a smoke here, but Genji, they've got the site. This flank, though, from Nitro. And the planter, good spray control. That's huge. Oh. I can't believe he actually held the spray down. I thought surely let it reset and get the a other. Little bit. Yeah, well, either way, it works. It gets the job done with two kills, and now Naf has everything. During the plant, he's got a one on one. If he can just find Kusta. Oh, but he can't even get Som. What a Good round from peek Som. off the bump. This one, you see the timing here. This is very common in terms of timing. Oh, whiffs the Molly, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is how it begins. Here we go. Twist burns a little bit. Gets a lot of damage done to Som. Now he's inside of the smoke, inside the site. And Automatic's coming up with the bomb to get planted. They haven't cleared this out. He's just going to tuck himself back into the back site. And a flank has already arrived for Stewie. Low HP to watch this flank, and it's all down to timing now. It's going to be an easy first kill. There it is. There's the second, and that's the bomb. And Gen G gets stuck. Dab's wondering how, what the hell just happened. Whose Molotov was it? It was, about it was Bentet's. Uh. And it's so unfortunate, right? Because it's actually not his fault also. It's actually his teammate's fault that he even jumps there. You know the execute is coming. Your riflers will always be there to support and back up your offers. But, but actually, bomb is going back. Yeah, it's not fake to the fake towards B and the hit towards the A bomb site where there's three members. And Nitro tells them to hold strong. Oh, Here no. we go. Twist underneath, and that all back. Good shot from Twist straight to the dome. Flashbang works as designed. 
but good trades, and Stewie still alive with the op. Now they're gonna move in, it's automatic to spin into the bomb site, and Stewie wasn't ready whatsoever, but Nitro is. Yeah, all of Liquid, they were already postured for this A, they were already... Same time. As soon as teams start to like do research and, and when they go up against Gen.G and realize they like to have the bomb solo at A ramp, this push is gonna be every <laughs> single round. This push is yeah. gonna be... This has happened again yeah. and again, you know? If even he, though they don't even get... He gets... He goes down first there, but just because of the setup. A double pump, hey? Oh no, they're just going. Well, let's see how it works for him. There's the peak from Naf to at least straight off one kill. Fire is everywhere in this bomb site, but so is Liquid. And they're gonna have a three round lead into the second half. Daps in a one versus four, he gets nothing. Nine to six for Team Liquid on the CT side of Mirage. That's gonna, I feel like that one's um, probably gotten like way too campy. Anyways. Kusa gets shot in the face. It's not as bad as it sounded. He's he's down to 41 HP. Good utility, good response from Genji. There's three players, make that five players here on defense. And Nitro is fighting back. It's Daps and Automatic in a two versus two. Nitro and Stewie, and Nitro gonna turn that corner. He knows oh, what's oh, close up. Oh, there oh it my is! God. His last burst available, he makes it work. Well, that too, and on top of that, he mentioned too, the whole thing with the mindset, right, of like, not having to pay attention of what the other teammates are doing. And that, uh, I think, is a mindset that it's really hard to get back out of. Uh-oh. Stewie's gone down. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Kusa with a Juan Dig. Three on four. Two players in the site for protection. Twist will fight his way out. They only have this one flashbang on Nav, so they might want to wait for a moment. Oh, he's going to set Twist up. Dangerous peak if he goes down. Oh, he didn't get what he wanted, but he has at least survived. Two players at Firebox. This might throw off Gen.G. They have but to play Kusa. aggressive here. Liquid. Yeah, Nitro yeah. will have to play aggressive at the very least. There's the first kill from Nitro. Second as well added in, and oh, certainly now. Certainly. Wow. Oh, my lord. What a retake from Gen G. We, they have managed to get into window room here. It's leash. Oh, and the kill on automatic. And again, we talk about the setups on the CT side. Look at the, how spread out Gen G is on this setup, right? We have one guy towards A ramp. We have one guy by side. We have one guy in jungle. Yeah. You're too spread out. And it's looked the same way on some of the liquid rounds as well. Of like when we talk about map control, you're not trading here. You're not getting any help. You're hoping for like a two kill from one of the spots and just for that tra trend to continue. Liquid leading by three. They're looking to make this a 2-0 and get right to that rematch. Comes up connector. All three of the members here from Genji can't be looking at this. If he kills someone, we have to make sure we have A-RAM control. Uh-oh. But no one's spotting anything. Oh. Well, it's hard to make this hit timed perfectly when you have a smoke at A-RAM and a player they have to deal with while Stewie's being aggressive at the staircase. He was very much alone. Kusta, they know he's over towards jungle. The problem is now... Only a Molotov to hold off this peak from Automatic, and oh, he's just jiggling it. Oh, there's the shot. Excuse me, it's a scout. And he's gonna back away, and now Liquid in the open space is starting to win these fights. Oh. Great response, and Twist steps into the open, and Psalm is there. Wow, huge round from Kusta holding down the fort near that connector jungle area. And for Liquid, obviously, being T is obviously the better if you are playing the economy game. It's a fast round though here. It's a palace push, and a good setup here for Genji. Oh no, Vantage, you can't go down that way. You are, <laughs> you're the sole person that take it there. Now, Genji, they kind of have to fight for this early. Oh my god, he goes down. This is actually turning out pretty well for Genji, despite that fact. Wow! Kusta! If this hit doesn't go well for Team Liquid, they lose They lose access, they lose control. Good first kill. There's the bomb on the ground. Som needs one more, but it's automatic from Connector. He's got another. And Som now steps forward, but not gun out. He had to switch over, and Stewie is just going to get around the corner with the bomb. All important, and Kusta making his play a bit early. He's found himself out into the bomb site. He goes down as well. This is such a quick rotate, though, from Gen.G. They're both catwalk. I wonder if Liquid's going to be expecting this. Two on two now. Now they know. Now they know for sure. Bentet very low. Oh, tough fight, and Nav can't convert it over fast enough. And the bomb is dropped behind, so they might have to fall back right into Kusta's arms. Here it comes. That flank is going to be huge. There's one kill. It's a oh. team kill. Stewie's gone down. Twist has a battle in middle, trying to find it. Saw him inside, and that's ambitious. That's very ambitious. Twist thought this was a different game for a second there. <laughs>
If Genji win this one this cleanly with four members, they're definitely postured in a good position. Naps got his knife out. That's an easy kill for Daps. Yeah, the double up setup. That second one on Som over at the B bomb site came into play there right at the end. Oh, Kusta, he's holding just on the other side. He's got a gap. Oh, oh a liege jumping headshot through the smoke. Kusta thought he had an, uh, an opening there. Ah, uh, that's that's one way to lose an entry. Um, jumping headshot from a liege. And, and Bentet, I don't know if the communication wasn't there, but he had no idea he was getting flanked. And there it is, automatic. He at least has a response, taking out the two members of Liquid. Yeah, but he's very low. Wait. Oh no, the second peak bomb does go down. It does get planted. Oh. At the very least, that is a quarter of a second late, and it changes the entire nature of this round. Twist in the open has to be careful against what that AWP, and he just deletes him straight up. Now both players at A ramp as well. Daps almost tapping away at one, but he knows both are here, looking for the first, looking for Twist. It's not planted for the T side. He's going to stick it. I think this might be his best chance. He's going to hold Wait. it down. Oh my god. Slow round here. Automatic though. Smart play from him. Takes A ramp control at least. But now he's by himself on the A bomb site. Nitro gets stabs as well being catwalk. Ooh, good reads. Good reads everywhere. It's a good round from Liquid here as well. They Stays might... in the game at least. Yeah, we'll take the, the money away. Look at Venta at $0, Kusta and Automatic at 50 And zero money bonus as well. Yeah. So a chance is, uh, this round is basically just giving another chance over to Team Liquid to try and bring this right back. They'd have to force overtime at this point, and that's a good find right at the end from Twist. But here comes the contact. Walking up connector. No information. Your back is turned to dark. There's one. Naf coming out from Palace. Kusta has arrived with Daps as well. Daps is going to be burned into the open. Oh, but oh. he wins out with the USP. Now things get a little bit dicey. Kusta, one more shot onto Naf. And this is how it all comes crumbling down. Kusta is left. Or excuse me, Stewie's left in a one versus two. Picks up the AK. A very uncomfortable situation for him. However, no rifles have been grabbed by Gen G. Stewie's just going to push up, and he's going to have to take a risk at one different angle. Sees the head, can't hit the shot. He reads the follow-up peaks. That's perfect. One-on-one -on -one now, 15 seconds, oh. and Kusta's going to win it. 16-13 to 13 for Gen G. What a butt clencher that one was. <laughs> 1v2 at the end there of this series. Winner will face EG tomorrow in the best of five. Loser is out third place. Liquid, they're just being so patient. They've got a second Molotov for some. Oh, Genji, though, perfect response. They knew Liquid were waiting that out. They just, with one flashbang, pushed the issue. And as Liquid are setting up for that second Molotov to flush some out. The possibilities on this map, one of the possibilities I mentioned is the retake set up on A. This is not a good start, though, for Genji when we pay attention to the nades. So, like, this is not a retake setup. If anything here, maybe even would be good to, to save here. Som gets the first one, though, and Bob's not down. So you can still kind of go for this, but you have to be a little bit aggressive. You kind of want to fight for this before the bomb goes down. That's the automatic missing shot. It's a goddamn Famas, you know? <laughs> Gosh darn it, Famas. That spray gets out of control real quick. <laughs> you know, every time that happens to Farber, he's like, I, I knew it. I should never buy it. He tells himself to, oh, and then he goes and he buys it. Oh, wait no. a minute. Oh, dear. How has this gone south? Naf's going to try and readjust all the way around. Som knows it. He's already ready for the peak, and he's got a headshot. Som delivering early on Vertigo. It's a weapon round up on automatic. They're aggressive here, A ramp. Wasting some nades this time around. Liquid, they did a good job versus Furia with this kind of play and setup. Elish gets the kill on automatic, but Bentek gets also one. And it's, it is an A setup here, a mid round play from Gen G essentially. But when Som goes down, you kind of lose the sight. Oh, look how much. Oh. Liquid is applying so much pressure. They got a wide angle around that smoke. Good job cracking into the site. Twist can start making a play on the other side of the map to start flanking out so Kusta can't save his weapon. They're used to this, right? They're used to playing games like these. They're used to people, teams, taking the A side aggression. They're not just going to expect no one to be there. Yeah, but he's rotated to the other side of the map. It's Daps who stepped up into the site, and there couldn't be a worse timing for it. Molotov forces him into the open. Not blind yet. Off angle over the flames. He has the first, but nothing more. That's a hard second follow-up fight to take. 
A lot of pressure, though, and coming through is Ben Tet. Twist is going to get the bomb planted, but the retake has just begun. Genji, they're not pausing at all. Nap, that's a good answer, and even a follow-up. That certainly makes things a lot more difficult for Genji here. Two versus two. Kusta's got the kit, and automatic he trades out for that rifle. That smoke, that's going to be huge for Genji. Kusta's just going to hold back. Tap on the bomb. Oh, no. Oh, oh he's got Stewie. it. Stewie. Oh, man. That's such a close round anyway. Plant's going to go down as soon as that clears. That's the Molotovs for Genji. Nothing to stop this from going down. Just some spam coming in. And actually pretty softened oh. up on the liquid side. But that headshot turns it. Here we go, though. He goes down, but we still have the smokes. And they should be coming in now. And we note no nades on the liquid side. Just a flashbang on Twist. So they should be playing a little bit aggressive here. Nice kill for Stewie. A nice trade as well. Bomb is tapped to force Liquid into the open. Good kill from Twist. He sees nobody's on the defuse. Oh. Bentet wraps around, but way too many to find. Great quick reaction from Naf mm -hmm. with the pistol whip, and it's 4-4. Four four. Sefli could get messy here. That flashbang is huge, but automatic. Just a USP in this AK pickup. He's going for more. Liquid, they have to reload soon. Uh-oh. One on two for Twist. He's got a flank coming in. Let's not want to mess with that fight. Looking for the other player, a little bit of spam through. He's he's aware of the possibility of a flank, and he's looking for the flank. He's going to find it. Daps coming up, but is prepared. Twist gets the headshot down very low. That's going to make Kusta very confident as Daps communicates it over. Bomb gets planted, and Twist he can't get out of here. Looking for that peak, and he's got it. He read it the whole way. Dang. Like an open book. He heard that really. Dewey having some sort of an idea. These uh -oh. flashes. Oh, oh my god. And at a certain point, Nitro realizes that Song was blocking his entire body, but Jet G, five versus three, they, they've actually just had a nice response here. But Nitro, he's still got a chance. He's low on HP. He's going to be able to get the bomb down. He's actually got potentially two separate 1v1s here. That's the first, but that's it. Only one bullet left in the chamber. Picks up the op. Hero play? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you doing with that? <laughs> that's a really good round from Nitro anyway, though. He gets three kills. That's when you kind of want... That's when you kind of have your timing. Let's see what this peak does. Whoa, run boost. Oh, that's so close. Oh, good save in the back from Daps. He was in the corner. Certainly going to go down, but that first kill on Elise was the important one. Now Automatic is able to get here in time with the op, and nobody's cleared him out just yet. Now he's got the position, but can't control. Nitro, one more kill for him, and holds on to the bomb site. He'll get that plant down. As Som comes in, the Molotov might take care of Nitro, and indeed it helps. One versus one from Nav, and he's only got the pistol. Half HP, Som again. Retake setups, mid-round aggressions. It's in the hands of these nade damages that you kind of see. This front smoke towards the top of the ramp has just been ruining Liquid in, in so many rounds, whether whether it's in the post plant or whether it's leading into the plant. Although, man, I, I don't know how that's turned around. There's even a player coming in mid. He's flanking as well. It's Naf. Oh. He has such a disgusting backstab. He's going to see one player. He's going to take that all day long. And now Gen G has to be worried about their flank. And the options open up for Liquid with 50 seconds left in the round. Ooh. Oh, Naf. I mean, at this point, he sold a fake. He could bring his teammates back, and it does seem like he's bringing his teammates back, but automatic, he's taking this time, hunting Naf down. And that's an answer, actually. Oh, he could, oh, this is dangerous, and he never really got comfortable with that fight. Didn't see it coming. Past the half wall. He gets the first one as well, oh. and then we talk, we talk about the sandbag Whoa. setup as well. Bantek gets the trade, and it's such a nice round from Gen G. Liquid kind of gets stuck in that ramp room there, or in by that ramp area. And Bentet will be a very quick rotate. He's in mid at the moment, and here we go. Smokes are up along the railing. Kusta gonna peek, and it's perfect. First kill is his second oh. kill, and that's beautiful. What a nice triple for Kusta to end the half. Nine to six in the favor of Gen G. See if they can keep it up on the attacking side. Stewie going to get a good glimpse. Sees three. Nice headshot. Can't find the second. 
Didn't go as well as he probably would have liked, and that certainly is a very rough follow-up from Bentet. What a round by Genji. This is an A fake. Wouldn't what a oh my god. Automatic. And Kusta, yeah, you're right. This has just completely ruined Liquid's defense. Oh, they're about to be heartbroken. Oh, maybe not. Why? Oh, why now is it's it like this? Dangerous instead. Yeah, why is it like this? Psalm coming through the smoke. There's a nade out. Doesn't do any damage. There goes his teammate. Psalm in a one versus three. Certainly he doesn't have heroics again. Oh, oh! he's got it. No, the defuse oh comes in. God. It was just a bit late. Shooting in the back. That goddamn neck. Oh, no. He's just throwing a decoy towards that direction. Change the timing. Nitro gets, oh no, he gets taken out. Even though Genji are really low, they're man up, pressing their issue onto the site. And Twist, he's all alone, already wasting out his smoke. That might throw Genji's crosshairs off guard. They're staring right into CT spawn, but that's it. Twist, he's lost his window now. But that's a good response. Oh my god, what a close round. Yeah. Ace? Probably the best guy you want for this because he's on point. Oh my god. Oh, oh, yeah, look Shoot at him. Shoot him, Sob. Yeah. yeah. Shoot him. What a rat. You tell him. Hot popular in Europe where you kind of re-aggress. Usually you see two, maybe even three, three sometimes. And you have to clear that. That's such a common spot. Even in NA, we've seen it again and again. At least you get the trade. Oh no. Automatic is able to just kind of force his way into another bomb site again. He did this towards the A site, or excuse me, the B site previously. Now he's allowed an opening. It's a three on two, but Daps and Automatic a little bit worse for wear. Especially Daps can be an easy find. One bullet would put him down. And he's going to wait to peek off contact from Automatic. Here's the slide out from Stewie, but he doesn't clear the angle. And now Daps has the peek, and he's found Twist. 13 to 7 and money control. To rotate, it's all about the utility, and sure, it is a different kind of map than we used to see in CS. Saw him, good response. He always had automatic right there to have his back. And this is just a good mid pressure with this B pinch raw all at the same time. Daps, he's already up in the ace in the B bomb site. All right, when you have Psalm doing things like this, and then you have guys like Automatic able to duel into bomb sites, and then, you know, Daps now with the courage to kind of lead the way on the extremities as well. Listen here instead. I love this from Kusta. This is something we didn't see from Liquid. You can also wall that. I'm not sure if the NA team knows that, but you can wall that pillar. Oh. I'm sure they know. I'm sure they have an idea. Liquid's starting to get that feeling that they can't win this, and you gotta back away. Three on five heading into the last round. Uh, it hurts, but man, you are so far away from any chance of defeating this bomb. That kill might open up a possibility, but Daps is just right there with him as well. It's just the possibility to lose everything. Yeah. <laughs> Here at BTS, we were very disappointed. They looked very lackluster. This is an incredible level of Gen.G. That is about to drop the Kings. So he fell back. That's the oh. human twist. Nicely done there from Stewie, though. They needed that. But that was supposed to just be a little bit of a fake, I think. They were supposed to just pick up some map control, and then while they make their way up towards this A ramp, and then try to fall back. Oh. This is the sandbag position I was talking about. Gets the one from that. Another kill from that. Genji into a choke point, and they have taken so much nade damage because of it. That's great utility usage from Liquid. Good yeah, fantastic flick for Nap. It's not done yet. Close oh. up, missed shot. Oh, and it can all end here. There's the trades into the bomb site. Look at the HP. Stewie 2K's arrived as well. It's all down to timing. He's got one and can't convert. So Twist hops over in a one versus two, but he can see nothing. Gap in the smoke, and he's drawn to it. It all clears now. They've lined up. A gift for Twist and Liquid. And we should have then two members fighting this A ramp. We should have one more holding off the A short and one more on site with flashbangs. Oh, well, it hasn't worked initially. Nitro goes down. Oh, the follow-up was almost there. Stewie saves the day. Oh, oh this is hello. awkward. Hello. That's an awkward timing. <laughs> and a huge advantage now for Gen G. A four on two. And they've got a minute left in the round. They could just hit the pause button. Ben Tet's just like, wait, Naf? Hi. And kills him out. Man, Gen G.
They've been able to hold strong on this mid-ground aggression, and Bentep picks up that AWP. That's over. Finds himself another one. Twist. No. <laughs> no, but, you know, Twist always makes these rounds pretty interesting. There it is. Nope, that is not it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the one. You know, he's doing some damage. Yeah, well, now it's definitely over. Legged by the op, and this is it. This is going to be Gen G recovering. Wow. In BTS in these past two weeks, looking at a whole new level, 16-9 to 9 victory over Liquid on Vertigo. They take the map, they take the series.